So, uh, Patrick, uh, yet another board person who's going to be interviewed. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Yes. And I remember when um, uh, that was sold to me that uh, you should really start with us uh, because you come from Sony, don't you? Yep. My, uh, my background is from many years at Sony. Yeah. How many years did you do there? And, uh, 13 years at Sony. 13? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you were one of the, uh, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, Sony's been up and down, but you, you were uh, sort of heading, uh, yeah, tell us what, what yeah, kind of functions exactly. were you running? I mean, the Sony was a fantastic journey from yeah. uh, 2003 until 2015. And, uh, you know, this was during the days when mobile phones were just exploding. Exploding. And it was like, uh, yeah, it was just happiness all over. All yeah. over and Mats over. Lindof must, must have been the CTO exactly. for many of those exactly. years. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, so we had uh, we had a, a great run for many many years. But then, of course, we had challenges as well. When iPhone came, we had to refocus, do Android, and things like that. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, we we had a, a great time. And then we became Sony. From yes. Being Sony Ericsson, we became Sony, and that was uh, also lots of fun. New Japanese colleagues, and uh, was it fun or was it was it also? stressful for you well it was both i think uh, very educational uh great to become a part of the bigger sony of yeah. course a fantastic company with many opportunities great products with a long long uh, history yeah and uh, culture wise did it did it all work sort of well, sometimes it worked sometimes it, it didn't work less yeah. but uh, it was uh it was great to be able to be part of the bigger sony that was kind of a new kick when we got to do that yeah, uh, and your role uh, during, uh, I guess, you, yeah. 13 years you have yeah, many, many, things, many hats. But I was but... always in, in software, so I yeah. did software, I did uh, applications and services, and I also, at the end, also led our uh, research and incubation activities. Okay. Which is now um, um, uh, a thing that's running in the, in the Sony uh, uh, Lund office as well, so that's really, really great. Is, is yeah. it part of Sony or is it, is it sort no, of No, it's part of Sony. They have a uh, Sony seed acceleration program, I think they call it, where, yeah. where they incubate companies and, okay. and so on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you, were you part of starting that? Yeah, or? exactly. That's okay. Right. Uh, yeah. Just, just before I left. Yeah. yeah. And Crunchfish, you, uh, I remember it was Urian uh, who was at our board and he, he felt he didn't have time anymore, so he, he introduced you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and... Uh, I don't remember exactly when it was, but uh, it was a while ago. It was a while ago, yeah, yeah. 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 Because you, you are the CEO of uh, Urian's company, Spideo. Yeah, exactly. And, and so, tell us a little bit about Spideo. Yeah, what, so me, me and Urian and a group of other uh, people, we started the company called Spideo, uh, actually already back in 2012. I always said Spideo, but yeah, it's yeah, Spideo. Yeah, yeah sometimes... Uh, you would, how, how do you it's video. Speed it's speed video. and video. Speed and video. Yeah. Okay, speed video. Uh, okay, so, cool. um, yeah, so we, we created this video, which is a company that makes an, a system for automating video recording, analysis, and streaming for sports. Yeah. Uh, so we do a system for coaches, analysts, players to be able to develop and make And, their... and you sold that into many great arenas in the world. Yeah, You've exactly. been around to uh, <laughs> exactly. some I nice... Uh, nice to go to some really nice places and meet some fantastic uh, coaches. Yeah. And, well, what, what's, the, what's the coolest arena that you that currently are using... Uh, the system of yours. Uh, the coolest arena that we use. Well, at least one arena you can yeah, mention. Yeah, I mean, we have, we have many. Uh, I think our most famous customer is probably Inter Milan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, which is, uh, uses this video system for their academy and their first team for their whole training facility. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, so this is for their coaches and, and their players, I guess, so to yeah, see exactly. what's going on yeah. and analyze. Uh, so we automate all everything related to recording and analyzing the video and things like that. Simplify yeah. and yeah. automate. And, what, and, then, and then we also have another product in this video on top of the same cameras that uh, automates the streaming solution. Okay. So you can stream video to your fans. Okay, so they um, use that as well for doing yeah, during it's a, games. It's a, it, it depends. It's more for the long tail, so youth sports and so on. They can okay. they can stream their their games to um, uh, to fans, to parents, to uh, yeah, relatives, yeah. and and so on. Because I, I guess some of them would have uh, TV rights. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this is for all the ones that don't have the TV rights yeah. uh, uh, controlled by by someone. So okay. It's a great opportunity for clubs to make money on their on on their uh, yeah. game basically. The content so yeah. that they have. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's great fun. We've uh, been up and running now since 2015 and have a, uh, a good growth. Yeah. What, what, what attracted you then to, uh, because I, I remember you had almost just 
become a CEO, and then uh, this came up that you could yeah, yeah. come and join the yeah, board of Crunchfish. I think it was uh, your focus on product and, and technology. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I knew Paul from, from before. Uh, and uh, I mean, of course, obviously, Paul is a super innovative guy mm -hmm. and uh, full of energy and uh, and uh, all that. So I, I mean, that's I would say is the the thing that fits me very well with uh, with French fish. Yeah, yeah. You and you, I know you've been working with us for uh, you know we have two technologies. We have gesture control, but also now we're going and. and uh, I remember we had a good first meeting when we had to start structuring. You know, before it was just blip; it was kind of easy. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, we had a bubble and offline. And you no, were part exactly. of a good yeah. meeting for uh, okay. We we have to package this in some way and start yeah. structuring it. Uh, but but let's talk about gesture for a while. Uh, what what do you think we have there? Yeah, I think there is a huge potential and a yeah. very strong technology, and obviously lots of patents. Yeah, uh, well, unique patents that really. Uh, is the foundation for, for what we have here. But already from the beginning, I was quite impressed with the approach that had been taken in terms of doing this with a mixture of computer vision and AI. Yeah. And not a lot only, of artificial intelligence yeah, to exactly. uh, make not, the, yeah. not only taking the computer vision route, because that I think would be the, uh, like the old way of doing it, but mm. mixing up, putting AI into this, I think is the, the only way to do it. And this yeah. team has done a fantastic job with that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and right now we, we're trying to expand our neural networks, our, you know, our uh, machine learning and exactly. to also do, yeah. uh, have a bit of a depth seeing as well. Yeah. I think that's... Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's fantastic what can be done, obviously. Yeah. And, uh, and I think we're, uh, I mean, it, it's a challenging market because a lot of the AR and VR things have not penetrated yet. Yeah. The consumer business and, and so on. But that will obviously happen. Yeah. Uh, just do you, do you also believe in this? Uh, you know, you came from Sony. You had you know a lot of things around mobile phones. But uh, it was, I guess it was Tim Cook from Apple that started touting this that uh, AR glasses may become the equivalent of mobile phones in the future. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, there, there will that happen? Do you think? I think so because uh, the, the, this thing that we do, look at our screen all the time. Yeah, that that it doesn't have to be like that. Mm. So I think this this will definitely happen when technology is there to allow you to do this uh, yeah. in a way that where it looks like regular glasses and yeah. and uh, it doesn't infringe on people's privacy and things like that. Then uh, I think it definitely will happen. This yeah. will, will happen. And, and and then I guess you believe like us that gesture control. And then how that, otherwise should you control yeah. uh, your that's experience? What we, you, yeah, that's you what we believe. Really well. You don't want to it. talk to it. Yeah, no. you don't want to. No. No. So, I mean, sometimes you should probably, but yeah, not yeah. Every, all the time. No. There are definitely situations where you need to use your, your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. So that, that would be part of that. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously, uh, as we've done already with Crunchfish, focus on the more, uh, the, the, the business oriented verticals. Yeah. Uh, to start with. Yeah. But in, in the industry yeah, sector. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where, where of, obviously the need to do things without touching um, your device is, is apparent. Yeah, but uh, but I, I think this once we get the consumer drive, which we have seen with mobile phones and many other things in in the past, then all of a sudden this will penetrate all aspects of, of life. I think. Yeah, R right now I think there is uh, it's, it's come up just recently that uh, because of this crisis in the world called Corona, mm -hmm. uh, people don't want to touch public screens anymore, exactly. and and that has created a, a renaissance for yeah. our basically what we had before because it's all about you know, everything you do on a flat screen, we can do with our hands like this. Yeah. yeah. And actually, in mo many of those cases, it's pretty simple UIs. Yeah. It's not so complicated. No. It's uh, push buttons and push you know, your pin code and yeah, yeah. things like that. So there would be a perfect use case, I think, for, yeah. for our technology. Yeah, no, and, and, uh, yeah, and uh, we, we, we are exploring. And it, I think uh, thanks to where we are on the mobile payment side that we have approached India. We, we are in, in dialogue with the, help, with the help of Business Sweden there, talking to them to see what they could see in that vast market. Mm. Because that would be a, you need sort of volume to get this, uh, yeah. it needs to scale. Otherwise, yeah. you can't make a business out of it, really. But India in itself is so huge. Yeah. So uh, if we can make it there, then we have a base for... Uh, yeah, exactly. So it was kind of interesting because we, we've been saying gesture control it would be for something in the future. But all of, all of a sudden we had gesture control for this technology we had 
almost two years ago, yeah. three years ago yeah. maybe, yeah. Uh, and, and now it's coming back. It's a very good combination with payment actually, because yeah. many of those screens are for payment. Yeah, X1, well. you, you're right, mm. yeah, 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 so we, we can uh, maybe have the gesture control. Uh, I talked to Daniel Mielison, our head, uh, R&D head for gestures, that uh, if uh, our AR glasses, will that be used for payments? Because you use your mm -hmm. mobile phone. And he said, absolutely, mm -hmm. that, that will happen also in the future. Yeah. But, uh, but I think right now we have terminals yeah. that you don't want to touch. You and, don't want to touch the green button when you've entered your <laughs> Yeah, <computer>. Yeah, you <laughs> want to do something else. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that by, by, by gesture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in, in terms of mobile payments then, what, what do you see there? Are we, uh, are we on the right track? Yeah, are we, the, what, I mean, well, definitely we have uh, a few of these technologies now that are quite unique. Yeah. And uh, and as we said before, it's all about how we now package them and yeah. make them available to to the players that can actually bring them to the market. Because yeah. obviously that we can't do on our own. But we need partners. Yeah, for that. Or, need or basically what, what could become our customers and partners. Yeah. Yeah, almost like, yeah. Because so. I, I think that's the plan. We can't reach the merchants ourselves in India. No. There are too no. many. 60 million of them. But exactly. if we, we have companies that we work with, payment services, that have those millions of customers. Yeah, I think exactly. It's how we package that, how we create products out of our technology yeah. and, um, and make that scale. And yeah. uh, obviously there will have to be integration projects and work yeah. together with, with those partners to, to do this. But, uh, but uh, finding out what those interfaces and products are together with the partners, I think that will be a key yeah. focus. Yeah. for the coming uh, months. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, we are, yeah, we're working on it for sure. And it's uh these are our challenges. I think and, and also to get our to get acceptance and um for our business model is important right yeah. now to try to get that one to stick in the market. That yeah. that's uh and that's actually for me that's almost part of the packaging. Yeah. That's, I mean you you find your product packaging but also how you sell it and how you charge for it and how you maintain it and yeah it's uh, part of the same yeah, uh, exactly. big package yeah, really exactly, for it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to, if you look ahead a little bit for Crunchfish for the future, sort of, uh, what do you see? Well, first of all, I'm really hoping that both these two legs that we have or focuses mm. that we have, that they both get a, a real good chance to, to make it in the market. Yeah. And uh, I, I mean, that, that would be that would be the best outcome. A double whammy. Yeah, sort exactly, of both, both, both exactly, are exactly, working. Exactly, sort of, yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, and I, actually, it's interesting because both are really high volume bets. Yes. Uh, actually, payments is huge, obviously. Yeah, exactly. but, payments. but I mean, as soon as we get consumer in AR, it's going to also be high volume. Absolutely. When, when Apple or Google, whoever it may be, mm -hmm. takes that step, something yeah, yeah. is going to happen. Yeah. Um, but obviously, payments is uh, something that we do all the time. So, yeah. um, and it's there now. I exactly. That, that, yeah. yeah, I mean that, that's that, that's why I, I think that that's the most imminent focus uh, at the moment. Yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, if if we can get these things that we're doing in Sweden and in India off the ground now, I think I mean there's there's huge potential. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And um, we have we're coming up with a new general meeting. Uh, in 20th of May. Yep. It's also a 10 year anniversary for Crunchfish. We're going to celebrate that bull bar. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, you're, you're feeling yourself for staying on in the board and working and contributing to the board. What, what, what is well, your. Yeah, that's definitely something I want to do. Yeah. I think we've had a, a great time during these years that I've been part of the board. Uh, and uh, I, I, as you know, I like product and, and technology, and yeah. uh, we have a lot of that to do now yeah. during the, the coming uh, coming year yeah uh, so no, I, I, I'm really I, 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 I can be I always, part of that absolutely and i always appreciate it because i think uh looking in a board how you should put it together you you always need people who can see the entire company and, and understand the business we're in uh but you, you really would like people who have a depth in some area. And, mm. and I always appreciate it because you are, in a way, the voice for uh, products and technology mm. on our board. That, that The board can uh, always ask, what do you think, Patrick, yeah, exactly. in, in this area, yeah. which is really yeah, useful for I think for, that's yeah. actually the same for all of the members of the board. Exactly. So everyone has their own kind yeah. of focus yeah. and, of course, a, a width to, to cover all of it. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's uh, no, I, I, and it's very deliberate. So and and, and we we strengthen the board right now. I think that's uh, 
been announced that we have a, a new guy coming in, Robert Ekstrom, uh, that Joran, uh, the new uh, chairman in the company, has found that uh, he's worked with him in the past and he's, he's great at uh, internationalization, mm -hmm. scaling up things, yeah. uh, both for hardware and software. And I, I think very much that is uh, that's the phase we're going yeah, in. Exactly. So uh, whatever we can strengthen the board uh, with expertise in that area will be useful. Yeah. yeah, I know from my journey at Spideo that there, there is lots of stuff that comes with selling products outside of your own territory. Yeah. Uh, legal aspects and uh, and things like that. that uh, you have to be, yeah. yeah. That you have to think about. And especially when we're talking about volume in yeah. like we, we do here in the countries case. So. So yeah, that will be an exciting journey and yeah, lots yeah. to learn, I think. Yeah, I think so too. And I, I'm glad that uh, Joran is sort of uh, is introducing him. So it's uh, I haven't met him myself, but uh, he, he will be here on the 20th as well. And okay. uh, get yeah. excited to yeah, know looking forward to that. I want to thank you, Patrick, for some great years at the board and uh, some great years to come. And thanks for all your great contribution you. in thank product you. and technology. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. thanks.